Fitness is a multi-billion dollar industry already and it's growing every year. It's projected as being one of the biggest industries in the coming decade, far surpassing all the others. Now one would think this means that there are more and more takers for fitness and that more and more people are enrolling in programs and investing in their health. But is that really so? The fact remains that your local gym is probably overbooking its membership by two or three times its full capacity. Why? Because they're counting on the fact that most of these people who signed up and paid in full are probably never going to show up. The fact remains that even though people are enrolling in fitness programs, the attrition rate is extremely high. It's at a staggering 50%. Why? Why is it that someone who has shown commitment to changing his lifestyle, who has access to a good facility with all the technology and the personnel available to help him reach his goals and has paid so much money, what could possibly come in the way of all this? Let's take a closer look at your average gym newbie. Week 1 sees an enthusiastic new member make a grand entrance at the gym, excited, determined and unstoppable. Within this week, small exercise side effects like muscle soreness or even confidence issues can drive him away. For those who plough through week 1, week 2 proves even harder. By now, not only is our newbie dealing with sore muscles, he has other issues, like realizing that exercise takes up too much time on his calendar, more than he had bargained for. Perceived lack of time is one of the top reasons quoted by exercise dropouts. If the newbie makes it to week 3, that means he is doing quite well and has found the time and space in his life to form a new good habit. But this is a dicey period, as boredom might set in another major reason for exercise dropouts. Week 4 is quite crucial because this is where passion gets converted to habit and small successes can be measured both in inches off your waist as well as on the weighing scale but sometimes those are just not good enough as our newbie joined with big dreams. This is a time for introspection for understanding that small successes will eventually add up. When you understand that you are hooked to fitness for life. Exercise is not a passing phase. It should become a part of your very existence. And sticking with an exercise regime is the key. Because practice really does make perfect. And only by sticking to a program long enough will you reap its benefits. Adherence is a term that we use in the fitness world. And it literally means to stick to one's exercise regime. For how long? preferably forever. Remember, your body was built to move. You were born to do this. So don't turn back. Just find your calling and keep on going. No excuses will do. Here are some of the top strategies for exercise adherence. Firstly, smart goals. Yes, these are exactly the same as the goals you set out for your corporate team. Set goals for yourself which are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time-bound. Keep an exercise journal and keep monitoring your progress. This is a highly motivating strategy guaranteed to see you through the lowest troughs. Secondly, start small, achieve big. Many beginners start their exercise regimes with very intense activity. It can be the biggest downer because your body would naturally find it unsustainable in the long run. Start small, start at the beginner level and gradually rise through the ranks. And you would be helping your body rather than punishing it. Thirdly, pick a regime that you like. If you like martial arts, enroll in kickboxing. If you like to run, join a running program. Never enroll in a program that you don't like. You will be that much more likely to drop out. Fourthly, the small things. Keep your exercise clothes ready at night for a morning workout. Choose a facility and time that suits you best and become much more active around the house. Plan on a definite time to exercise. Write these times in your planner as you would an appointment. Set recurring alarms on your watch just before your scheduled time to exercise. Small changes like this 
go a long way in helping us to stick to our decisions. And five, the buddy system. This is by far one of the best strategies for exercise adherence. What is it exactly? It's going to be coming up in just a little while.